Hello friends, today we can do something special. Today I am going to show you a science activity. I am sure it will be funny and interesting for you because it's a water activity. Have you ever wondered why something sing and something float? Let's learn about singing and floating today. Do you know what means singing and floating? Singing means when we put something into the water and it goes down to the water. And floating means it stays on the top of the water. Let's do an activity to learn more about singing and floating. The name of the activity is Sing and Float. This is our presentation tray. We can keep it here. Now we can keep all the things out. See, this is a bow. And this is a jug of water. Now I am going to pour this water into this bowl slowly. I'm going to wipe the excess water and keep the jet on this tray. See, I have some objects here for this experiment. See, I have two cards in my hand. This is sink and this is float. I'm going to keep this sink card over here and this float here i have something to show you shall we look what are the object we have for the experiment mm. see it's a ball you can keep it here see it's a balloon see how cute it is small one no you can keep it here a stone coin plastic spoon and a metal spoon So now I'm going to start with coin. I'm going to put this coin. Can you tell me will it sink or float? Let's see what happens. It sank. We can keep this coin under the category of sink. This is a balloon. What happens to this? Yes, it is floating. This was floating, so we can keep it here. See, it is a heavy stone. What happens to this when we are putting it into water? Yes, it is sinking. It was sunk, so we can keep under the sink. Next, I will show two spoons. One is metal and the other one is plastic. See, the metal one is sinking. And the plastic spoon is floating. This was floating. So, I am going to keep under float. And the metal spoon was sinking. So, I'm going to keep under the sink. It's a plastic bowl. What happens to the bowl? Tell me. Yes, it's floating. Can you tell me where it will come? 
Yeah, it's under the floor. Now we can see which are the object sank and which are the object floated. Instead of taking with hands, we can use a device like this. I will show you how to hold this. See? You can hold like this. I will, I will show you how to take object from the water. See? Let's put the heavy one. Be careful, okay? While taking it out, be careful, okay? Parents, make the child to do this activity with different object you may get at home. Let them open the tap and collect some water in a jug and do the activity. Instead of this glass bowl, you can use a steel bowl also. Hope you will all do this activity and enjoy. We can see you in next class. Bye!